it's like Saluna. Hey! It's like quite an interesting spot. We've got some Toronto police. Hey friends, it's Sunday, June 2nd. The time is 8.39 p.m. and the temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. I'm here in Nathan Phillips Square. This is where I just wrapped up a live stream. And so I figured what better way while I'm here than to start filming a video as well. I'm already in the talking mood, so why stop here? <laughs> That was Nathan Phillips Square, where we started the video. And I think for this walk, we'll venture along Queen, heading west, and see what Queen Street is like on a Sunday evening. <laughs> Fresh cut fries, $1.99. The rain held off for my live stream, but it didn't hold off for this video. So I had to break out my umbrella. I was originally going to do a members video after my live stream and grab some donuts at the well. The Wellington Market just opened up there, but it's closed. <laughs> Obviously, it being almost 9 p.m. on a Sunday, it would be closed. So I'll save that for another video this week. I know Mark D is really looking forward to it. As well as some other channel members. So I'll be sure to go there and test out the donuts. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't make it there in time, but it happens. I lose track of time streaming. So here we are on Queen Street, headed west. We've got Osgood Hall, although you can't see much through the, as I point directly to a tree. Through the gates here. It's not much of a view there. Canadian Opera Company to the left. The city, the city was pretty lively in our live stream earlier, so I'm kind of anxious to see what Queen Street is like on a Sunday as people gear up for the week. might zigzag here and there depending how busy it is. I think I hear some construction going on for the Ontario line just as we approach university. I brought up my umbrella but now I don't feel any rain. <laughs> don't you hate when that happens? safe than sorry. There's the construction happening in there. Osgood Hall. Perhaps we'll cross over and check out the left side of Queen Street. Earlier before my live stream, Union Station was packed of people there was a Jays game and the Jays ended up winning 5-2 so everyone was leaving and catching their trains at the exact same time or their bus that's old city hall that you hear in the background I'm not 
able to see it. It's just behind the trees there, the peak of it. And here we go across university. There's the 501 B bus to Broadview and Gerard. is fighting with the wind right now. This is my third time using this umbrella and it's held up pretty good but I haven't tested it in extreme wind yet. So I'm interested to see if it turns inside out or not. No. No. There's another hot dog stand. As we cross over Simcoe Street. Across the way here, there used to be a Starbucks, which has since come and gone. It's too bad, I quite like that location. demoing here to make room for another store. And as we walk here, I see that the rain is coming down after all. I don't see a lot of people pulling over and letting people out along this stretch. We've got our first taste of some copyright music as we walk on by and try to talk over it. It's not so easy to pass people with an umbrella. As my umbrella touches the treetop there. <laughs> Tour. He was completely covered in tattoos. That's a lot of tattoos. Yeah. Yep. From head to toe, if you will. It's like a popular spot. And my instincts were right. No shortage of people along Queen Street West here. This is Duncan Street. There's Chum FM on the corner there. These fellas have the right idea, enjoying some gelato. We're also coming up to the CTV building as well. New Tribe, Piercing and Tattoo, as well as Warehouse, just across the way there to our right with their loud copyright music. Oops, <laughs> as I misstepped there, we've got, is it Soldier Boy playing? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> There's the CP24 infamous car in the building. have to be careful with the sidewalks here. Sometimes they can be a bit uneven and you can misstep very easily. As you know, that's happened to me many of times. Speaking of Starbucks, this one just recently reopened. It was closed for renovations, I believe. I did a members video of this place here on the corner, Mizuka. That's where those guys were enjoying their gelato. Queen and John. It really is a great spot. I highly recommend it and I can see why it's so busy tonight. It's definitely worth the line if you're at, ever in the city. It's a great spot. In my members video, I had the espresso gelato. 
and it was so good. In fact, that's making me crave it right now. Perhaps I'll get some sort of ice cream after this video. Just want something sweet. Seems like everyone kind of has that idea. This lady's just finishing an ice cream cone. Good behavior. Ice cream sub sandwiches. Ice cream sub sandwiches, interesting. We've got a few people in there as well. I like their staircase. Good behavior submarine. Ice cream and submarine sandwiches? Because <laughs> it made it sound like it was a ice cream submarine sandwich. It's quite the play on words there. We've got Zara to the left. I don't think I've ever been in that location. The one in the Eaton Center for sure, but not that location. They used to have an H&M along this stretch of Queen as well, which has since closed down. I was quite sad to see it go. Must not have been doing as well as they'd hoped. And we're coming up to Peter Street. I hear quite the music up ahead here. There must be a, a bar that we're coming up to. Maybe we'll cross over and take a look. I can always throw my music over it if I'm not able to talk my way out of it. <laughs> I didn't finish my sentence there. This is Queen and Peter Street. Nothing like clubbing on a Sunday. I'm not sure I ever have. <laughs> As we wait for the light here. That used to be the Black Bull on the corner there. But they have since sold. And now I believe a sports bar is taking over. We've got about seven seconds here. And the light's going to change. There's the 501 streetcar. Queen to McCall. Should be our turn, there we go. And the music has briefly stopped here, so maybe we'll get lucky and I won't have to throw my music over it. We'll see. <laughs> Those girls seemed a bit lost. I'm trying to catch the name of this place, but it I don't see it. Is it something without a name? <laughs> We've got Lush, that's for sure. They kind of just snuck this this club in there. Saluna? Saluna. It's like Saluna. It's like quite an interesting spot. We've got some Toronto police here as well. Something must have happened there. Maybe it was a fight. Or something. All girls are going away. It's the opportunity of road. Quite the action for a Sunday evening. If I do say so myself. We've got another bar here with a generous patio called Rivoli. Quite like their patio actually. Certainly glad I crossed over there. It's nice to see some benches along Queen Street here. We need more of those throughout the city. 
I mean, there still is quite a fair bit, but I like to have options, you know? <laughs> Horseshoe Tavern. Their patio is getting a bit full there, it looks like. <laughs> and we're coming up to Spadina. McDonald's across the way there. 501B, Queen to Bathurst. I think maybe we'll head down Spadina and we'll go south. I'm not sure if this guy's trying to make his way onto the bus, but I don't think the bus driver's going to have it. I think he says no, despite being stopped <laughs> and in the intersection. <laughs> Here we are heading south down Spadina. This stretch can get quite busy as well. Exotics, piercing and fine jewelry. That can't be right. <laughs> that looks like a restaurant in there. Trying to catch the name through the trees. What is your name? Alouette. Alouette. That looked like a, a hidden gem there. They're enjoying a glass of wine. Also be a great spot for patios as well. The kebab guys open late until 1 a.m. Thursday to Saturday. This is Richmond and Spadina. Certainly had a little bit of nightlife action along Queen there, but Spadina seems uh, a bit down. quiet. Wide open, it certainly is, isn't it? <laughs> there was a look at a bar. That's a funny name. I think I'm the only one with my umbrella out. <laughs> Certainly in a hurry. And here we are coming up to Adelaide Street and Spadina. Looks like our residence is coming to the corner of Adelaide and Spadina here, 101 Spadina. Streetcar not in service. Making its turn onto Adelaide here. <coughs> the streetcars look so pretty in this lighting. <laughs> Large streetcar. I wonder if King is as busy as Queen. 
I'm willing to bet it is. King is always pretty lively. I've done a couple of walks along King. As my umbrella grazes the tops of the trees here. <laughs> they hang so low it's kind of hard not to unless I'm crawling under them. <laughs> that one I was able to duck. As you hear the strap flapping in the wind. Oh, cute little doggy there. Big doggy rather. And we are approaching King Street West and Spadina. I think I'll start to wrap up the video here. I hope you enjoyed our impromptu walk from Nathan Phillips Square along Queen down Spadina and ending off at King Street West. Feel free to give this video a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know your thoughts. I also have an Instagram and Twitter. It's Walks with T-Shots. Feel free to follow me there as well. And if you're interested in becoming a member, there's a join button next to the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.